Hey y'all, thank you so much for joining us for another Double Dutch Design School tutorial. Today we are using this Halloween themed t-shirt um, as inspiration for our design. So I am just going to go ahead and get started. Um, let me, um, I saved it to one of my pages in Canva just so I can refer back to it. I'm going to keep the play on word uh, fabulous, the word boo right here, but instead of using a pumpkin, I'm just going to use regular letters, but I will incorporate the symbols of Halloween in it. So let's go ahead and just add a page. The canvas size is 2000 by 2000 pixels. You can, um, when you open up Canva, you can create a custom size and just insert, enter those dimensions in. So the first thing I'm going to do is add a text box. I'm going to hit the T key on my keyboard and type in the word fab or yeah, the, the word fab. I think that is a word and change it to Let's see. Um, the font that I'm going to use is called Spicy Chicken. I like that one. It's It looks almost like the F looks the same. I like that style. But it's obviously not the same font because the A and the B are different. But it doesn't matter. Just choose a font that you like. Make sure that um, you purchase the commercial license for it if you are planning on selling this t-shirt or t-shirt design. If not, you can request a commercial license from the creator of the fonts. Um, we got this from Creative Fabrica. Again, it is called Spicy Chicken. I can add it into the details below. All right, so the word fab is going to be the same font as the less part. And then what I'm going to do is, I'm not going to worry about um, positioning it right now. I'm just going to leave it alone until I am ready to put them all together. So I'm going to duplicate it again. And this time I'm going to do the boo part and change the font. So if you have purchased our how to design when you're not a designer course, you'll know you'll remember that we we suggested that you um, mix like a print in a script looking font together no more than two different fonts in one t-shirt design so what i'm going to do is choose a regular sans serif font but it's still kind of cute the one i'm using it's going to be called kg summer storm and this you can download. I think we got off of the fonts. All right, so I'm gonna use this one for the boo part. I want it to be closer together. So if you click on this want this um, part right here for spacing, you can adjust how close and far apart the letters are. I just wanna move it just a little closer together. And then I want to add some effects to it, or just one effect. I'm going to make sure that this text box is selected, and then click on effects. I'm going to do a splice effect and change it to black. So it has kind of a, like this dimension right here. It's a little too offset for me, so I'm going to adjust it just a little bit. And just do it to your liking, however you want to. And then um, let me resize it because I don't want it to be too, like it's much bigger than the fab part. So I'm, now I'm going to resize it so it doesn't look too dramatic. I want them to almost be the same size, just a little bit. And then I'm planning on adding um, some spider webs to this design. So I'm going to position it in a way where I can have room to put spider webs and still bring it some, bring some balance to the design. 
So this is the point where you need to really pay attention to the details as far as spacing. Um, you may have to do lots of moving around. So let me just kind of sit this B. I'm looking at this B sitting in between the B and the O. And then I'm going to put, you see the L right here, just at the uh, right in front of the B and boo. That way, the spacing in between all three text boxes isn't too big. You don't want too much uh, white space. So I kind of like it right now. I'm going to leave it alone. I'm going to group it just so that it doesn't move. And then I'm going to go up to elements and look for spider web. Oops. I can spell it correctly. And I really want something simple. I don't want anything too detailed or thin for this one. Maybe I'll do this. Yeah. Um, I'm going to flip it and even rotate it just a little. And if you look at this part of the web and this part of the web, I'm going to have it attached to the letters F and L. All right. And then, so now I'm going to ungroup my text box and try to bring, I guess, the B a little closer. But if I do that, I'll have to bring the less over some more. So now, like I said, it's a lot of repositioning to get it how you want it to look for your t-shirt design. So I'm just trying to find the right so I like how this part touches the B and how this part touches the L. So I'm going to leave that alone. So that means I have to readjust the fab so that um, it looks fine. Oh, that was an easy fix. I just moved it over just a little bit. There, that makes me happy. And then I want to actually add the spider web up here as well. So I'm going to duplicate this just like I did the text box and flip it. And then these um, two arrows right here allows me to um, rotate the spider web how I want it to be. And I think I'm going to rotate it all the way. I don't know. Let me see. Okay, so I just flipped it vertically. Like I said, you're going to just have to find what works for you. I flipped it vertically. Let's see what it looks like now. I might have to resize it, make it smaller. So I'm going to speed up this video while I'm playing around with it, but you guys get the point. Just play around with the positioning. Okay, so I found a different spider web. It has less lines. You can see it's different. I think I'm going to go with this one for this side. And that's completely fine because spider webs aren't supposed to look the exact same anyways. So there. <laughs> I'm going to leave it at that. Actually, let me just move it down a little bit. Um, gosh. Oh, okay, okay, okay. That's what I'm going to do. Make it a little bigger. Gosh, this is a lot of work, y'all. But it is. I mean, t-shirt designing is... And it probably is because I'm a perfectionist. I, I just, it's going to bother me if it's not how I want it to be. Mm. All right. 
think I'm happy with that. Okay, so like I was saying, let's say if you wanted to add an extra line right here, you can just insert a line by hitting the L. And then you can change the thickness of it, the weight, and even the length and the style um, if you want to add any extra lines. But you know what? I'm going to leave it. Oh, no. I'm sorry. I do want to add a line because somewhere on here I want to add a spider. Um, let's see. I think I want to add a couple. Maybe one right here. Yeah, I'm going to add a spider right here. Maybe change the thickness to eight. Yep. And once I do that, I'm going to look up spider and choose like a simple one. I don't want anything too detailed. Maybe this one. Resize it, insert it. And there you have a cute um, Halloween themed t-shirt design inspired by this right here. Oh, if you want to add some stars, you can. So let's do stars. I'm going to add a page. I love their mock-up right here. It's very intentional. Um, they are taking advantage of the season, the holidays, so you can do that as well. So I'm going to grab this actually let's do this so let me add maybe i'll add some leaves to it fall leaves just make it fall themed Take my design right here, on here, and there we have our Halloween shirt. Or you can also get a orange t-shirt mock-up. Find one. Oh, here's one on Canva that's ready for you. but you guys get the point you can just play around with it on what works find an orange shirt find a black shirt halloween shirt or change the font to white All right, y'all, I hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial. I hope you have fun with creating cute fun tees like this. If you are inspired by this video and this tutorial, uh, feel free to tag us in your design so we can check out your creations. Until next time, we will see you later.